Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the pants from our latest Goodwill haul. So let's, uh, let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and along with my wife Angelique, I run a closet on Poshmark. Uh, it's called The Deacons. Links to that will be below. All right. Like I said in the intro, we are going to look at the pants from our Goodwill haul. Um, Goodwill Dollar Day haul. I don't know that we actually went with dollars on these pants or if we did uh, the half off. Um, so I can't remember how much it cost. I think most of them were a dollar, but I'm not sure. Um, and these did come from a few different Goodwills and one other thrift store um, that we go to. I uh, we went to a couple places that day. All right, so up first, we have the one thing that is not jeans from our haul. This is a who, what, where. Um, that's a Target brand that's pretty popular. And it is a pair of, well, I guess they're just um, pants. Um, pair of brownish brown pants um, and it does have a belt included uh, and they are new with tags um, I'm pretty sure these came from the Goodwill because the Goodwill we normally go to they get a lot of Target new with tags um, so because I think the Target takes their extra inventory and does sell some of it to the Goodwill um, so we get a lot of new tag stuff that's specifically Target. Alright, up next we have a pair of Page. Um, and these did not come from the these did not come from the Goodwill. These were only these were only a dollar because um, the tag uh, that tag color was 50% off. Um, but these are a pair of Page and they look they're in great condition. Um, and they're a really good brand. Um, I do have, in our inventory system, I do have a box of what is just jeans, and then I have another box that is labeled the good jeans. So these will definitely go in the good jeans box. Um, I'm probably going to have to separate out the good jeans and make it into two boxes because we're just getting so many, so many good jeans, and then we're probably going to have to stop getting jeans. All right, up next is another... Um, Another find from that uh, thrift store. Um, this was, I believe this color was 25 off. Uh, and this is a pair of um, 505 uh, Levi's. Um, now the 505, um, that's really the brand, that's the number of Levi that we always look for. Um, the 505s just are the, they're the, they're the brand, they're the number that does really, really well. Um, so always look for that number. I think these are going to do really, really good. Again, I looked over them. Um, not a lot of, not any flaws. So definitely, definitely happy to get those. Okay. Up next, we have a J Crew size 31 uh, toothpick. Uh, and these, um, you know, they're skinny jeans with a size 31. They fit really well on the mannequin. Um, <coughs> excuse me. On the legs mannequin. Um, so that, yeah, her size is about a 28, 29. Uh, but since these are toothpick, they actually fit her really well. And they took really good pictures. So I'm very confident in those selling um, pretty quickly. All right, up next we have another pair of 505s. I think we have yet another pair in there. Um, but these are a pair of 505s. I believe these are men's. Um, maybe they're women's. Um, I don't know, because they do have the, uh, the waist and leg uh, sizes listed on the back, which normally you only see on men's pants. But they also have the size 18H. So, not sure... <coughs> Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Um, 
Eight, the H stands for Husky, as I can see by the uh, label in there. But um, their 505s, they do have uh, some... Uh, there was some uh, something on them, uh, so I will need to uh, I will need to make sure to wash them uh, before we uh, before we list them. Um, so I'll just need to make sure to do that, uh, but otherwise in great condition. All right. Up next we have an and denim, ampersand denim, and these were. Uh, Super skinny, super low, 29, 32. <laughs> they are, um, I, I didn't see a uh, fabric tag, but they do have a little bit of stretch to them, so they're probably some, some elastic or spandex, but mostly cotton. Anyway, um, <laughs> really nice pair of jeans. Um, yeah, not a lot to say about them. And I hear something going on in the background, so I'm just going to have to go check that real quick. And uh, then we have just a few more pairs to get through. All right, and welcome back. Um, that was just the uh, just the washer going off. Um, I think it, it would kept going and ringing. I don't know if you even if the mic even picked it up or not. But um, anyway, uh, our actual our last pair of jeans. Um, is another pair of Levi's. Uh, I was mistaken. These aren't 505s. These are 550s. Um, so not really sure about that number. Um, I'm not sure if we picked them up by mistake or if uh, that's actually a good number. Um, anyway, they were an another pair of um, jeans. Uh, they did have a little bit of some. They did have a little bit of something on them, so I will need to wash them. Um, but I, I noticed it when I was shooting them. I shot them anyway. I don't think it showed up in the pictures, so I'll definitely want to wash them, though, just before we send them out. All right. Now, I said I was only going to do pants in this haul, but uh, underneath the pants, there were a few more tops, so let's go ahead and look at those real quick just to, just to clear out this haul. Okay. Up first, we have a Dolan Left Coast Collection, and uh, this was a... Uh, top. It did have the pockets there and there, and I think um, we found one in this color. Um, this is a this is a, a zero, maybe a size zero. It looks looks a little large for a size zero, but maybe it's a vanity size. Um, but we did find one in this color, and then we found another. Another one, same size, but in black. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't know if we'll do like a... I don't know with Poshmark, because um, my wife does all the listings, so I'm not sure if you can list two items and then have different colors. I know you can do the same item and have different sizes, um, because we we have a couple items like that. Um, and a couple items sold like that, and it's really confusing for me, because uh, I have to do all the packaging, but... Yeah, so I don't know if we'll list them separately or list them together. But this last piece, we are definitely listing alone. Um, this is a Nike. Um, it's a small, and this is a kind of a, a I guess a windbreaker, windbreaker uh, jacket. It does have the hood, um, which I think the hood is. Oh, I didn't notice this. Um, the hood is adjustable uh, in the back, so. Um, I think it's something for like running, running in the rain, because um, it will keep you dry, uh, but it's very lightweight, so it's going to breathe. Um, it does have the zipper, and, and uh, on the very top of the zipper here, you'll notice uh, it has this little rubber piece over the metal, so it doesn't rub up against your chin. Um, and I don't know. Um, I don't think no. It doesn't have any. Oh, it does have, um, it does have one, wait, is that a, no, no, it does have, it has no pockets, uh, so, I, yeah, I think it is just something for running, um, but it looks really neat, and we comped it out, I forget what it comped for, but it's, 
actually going for this very jacket is going for really, really good prices on Poshmark right now. So I was definitely happy to pick that up. All right, and that brings us to the end of our clothing uh, from the haul. Now we do have uh, shoes from the haul, so um, we'll go over those next time. All right, bye.